guys, it's JJ. Welcome back to my cupboard. Hello! I hope everyone's doing really well. Um, we do have some crazy things going on in Sydney at the moment. RE lockdown, RE vaccines, RE people being silly. However, I'm just here in my cupboard with my fairy lights in a pretty pink dress in my Hufflepuff badge and my attempted 1940s hairdo. So I'm doing okay. I hope everyone else out there is doing okay. Um, anyway, that's the serious stuff out of the way. Um, today I have a little haul video for you. Um, and I say little because it is little. I recently did an order, um, if you're in Australia, the website Catch, Catch of the Day. Um, they actually have some really good quality Harry Potter stuff. Um, they have licensed stuff, um, which I did get a couple of things uh, that were licensed. Um, and I did also just get a couple of witchy themed things. Um, vintage vibe things that I thought would be fun to use in my journaling and just life really because you know you got to live your best magical life that's the motto that I live by um so let's get to it shall we so first things first you can actually see it over here in the background I ordered I just couldn't help myself because it's so beautiful you guys i cannot describe to you how beautiful this book is it is harry potter and the philosopher's stone um designed by mina lima who actually designed the majority of the paper artifacts even some of the props uh from the harry potter movies um and they have designed the most beautiful book it is illustrated it is also a little bit interactive. There are some um, little pop-out elements that are really, really fun. And, you know, I just thought what an amazing way to reread the series um, with this beautiful, and it's so thick as well. I love how thick and chunky it feels. It feels like a real um, book that you might find um, in the Hogwarts library. Um, so I will be doing a full flip through of this book. I know um, tons of people have done this by now because it's been out for a while. Um, the second one, by the way, they will be doing all the books. The second one, Chamber of Secrets, comes out in October, I think, in Australia. So if you're looking to expand your Harry Potter book collection, I would keep an eye out for that. Um, but I will just show you a little bit of the inside. So we have this beautiful celestial design. Um, and just look at the detail in this Hogwarts crest and even the colour of the paper, it looks like parchment. It's, I am obsessed with that detail. It just looks aged and gorgeous and all these little curlicues around the edges of the pages are so stunning. Um, we just have the usual, um, you know, copyright and um, Joe's message to her daughter Jessica in the front. Um, even the the font that they've chosen is so whimsical and beautiful. Um, and here we have our first illustration. So we have Dumbledore, and you can see Harry just on the steps of Fall Privet Drive as he's being dropped off oh sorry and i just missed we have the shadow of mcgonagall here and hagrid here as well looking on at baby harry as he's been dropped off at four privet drive which is actually a really kind of solemn um way to start off the book but that's how it goes um and we also have sirius's motorbike over here um and just i mean look at those stunning colours and I love the way the illustrations are 
kind of embedded into the text as well really really cool and I'll just flip to the first interactive element just to show you guys what I'm on about I think this is meant to be Dumbledore's watch I could be very wrong but it's so interactive all these dials spin and we have this top layer that spins and the bottom layer spins as well all the beautiful colors yeah, I'm not exactly sure what this contraption is, but I do vaguely remember, because I haven't read the first book in a little while, um, that Dumbledore has um, some sort of intricate contraption that he uses to tell the time. So I feel like that's what that is. We do have some D. Al oh, okay, yeah. Albus Percival. Wolfric, Brian, Dumbledore. There we go. So if you look closely, we have an A. Albus, we have a P. Percival, W for Wolfric, B for Brian, and then in case to buy a D. That is so clever. Oh my God. Mina Lima, I'm obsessed with you guys. That's just so amazing. And you can expect that kind of detail and just thought behind every um, interactive element in this book. I won't say more just now because I will be doing a full flip through for you guys. Um, but yes, this from Catch of the Day was $29. It actually came through Target, um, Target Australia. Um, but they must have teamed up with Catch. I didn't realize it was coming from Target, but anyhow. Um, that was my first purchase with Catch of the Day. Let me just put that back. We'll get on to the next thing. Okay, the next thing, not strictly um, Potter, but vintage and cool looking. I mean, I'm not sure if wizards use scissors. Is there a cutting spell? Which there probably is. However, um, if there weren't, I could totally see this on the desk of um, you know, maybe McGonagall, even Dumbledore, probably Umbridge, let's be honest. It's really, um, nicely detailed and vintage. Um, and the reason I got these is because when I'm doing a vintage journaling page, I want everything to feel really kind of authentic. Um, and you know, when you've got these boring old scissors, it kind of, breaks the spell a bit if you like um so yeah I got these little scissors I think they're actually for embroidery because they're pretty tiny um but you know if you're cutting twine or if you're just wanting to cut out a little um piece of a page or a sticker or something I think they're perfect um so yeah I think that's going to make a nice addition to my journaling experience uh next okay you guys have actually already seen a video with me wearing these but these were from catch of the day my luna love good spectra specs and yes you can see the ring light in them i apologize for that um well i have to put them on now <laughs> i just feel so whimsical and fun when i wear these and i think of luna um wearing her spectra specs in that scene on the train uh, where she finds Harry and finds all the rack spurts buzzing about his brain. Um, they're so gorgeous. And if you look closely, the, the lenses are actually different colors. I'm not sure if you can tell. Let me try and get away from that ring light. Um, this one's a bit more of a yellowy green. And then this side is a purpley blue. Um, hard to tell. Anyway, um, Yes, these are, the, these are a licensed product. Um, you can see on the side, it says here, Harry Potter. And on the inside, it says Warner Brothers Entertainment. Um, I did actually have another pair of these that I wore um, to my auntie's 50th birthday. Uh, yes, I am a part of a Harry Potter family. My whole family is obsessed with Harry Potter. Um, and yeah, my auntie and my mum just went all out for her birthday. 
it was crazy. I'm actually gonna, yeah, I'll put a little link to, there's a YouTube video that my mum made of the event and it's crazy. You guys, when you see the detail that we all went into, um, making the party, especially my mum and my auntie, I chipped in a little bit here and there. Um, but because I was in Sydney, it was a little bit hard to be more hands-on with it. But it was so fun, and I went as Luna Lovegood. Um, the pair that I had were actually made from cardboard, which I didn't realise. I ordered them from Etsy, and I probably should have known that. But yeah, they were cardboard, um, so they didn't really last. But these are plastic, um, so yeah. You'll be able to wear them for a while. And they're also, they're like one size fits all. They fit nicely on me, but there's definitely a bit of give. Um, so, yeah, they're, they're not the kind that are going to squeeze your head in. So, yeah, my Spectre Specs was the third purchase. Let me pop them back on my little umbrella stand. <laughs> um... Okay, now the last thing I am so obsessed with, it's this little cauldron, but it's not just a cauldron, I actually have used this already, sorry guys, the box that it came in was really cute, I probably should have kept it um, because it looked quite magical, um, it is a oil burner, um, however I've been using it for wax, um, like aromatherapy wax. I actually have had this little um, tube of, well, tube? What is this? Container? It looks like a potion bottle, let's be honest. I've had this little potion bottle of aromatherapy wax melts for maybe two years, and I've just never had a burner for them. And I was looking up maybe Harry Potter or witchy things in Catch of the Day, and this came up, and I was like, two birds with one stone. I can finally use my little bergamot uh, wax melts and just have a gorgeous little cauldron. So as you can see, you put the little tea light in here and I will show some footage of what it looks like um, when it's lit because it's so beautiful, especially if you have a dark environment. The glow is just really warm and lovely. Um, and then you put the, um, the wax melts in here. So this wax is obviously melted and then um solidified in there <laughs> hey guys so i've just cast incendio and lit up my little cauldron look how awesome that looks it's so pretty and a little bit spooky which i love it's very witchy and it just casts a really nice glow Yes, yeah, so this is just so gorgeous. I love it so much. Um, and it was cheap as well. I think it was $15 from Catch of the Day. So you guys, if you're looking, and I'll, I'll link everything down below as well because I realize I've chucked away the packaging. I don't have the item names or the brand or anything like that. Um, so yes, I will do that. Um, by the way, none of this is sponsored, obviously not because I have like 20 subscribers, lol. Um, but I just really want to share some stuff with you guys and especially if you're on a budget like me, um, Catch of the Day is a really good option to have some witchy, wizardy things to just uh, spice up your decor. Spice up your life. Um, yeah. So that was my little catch of the day haul. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Anyway, thank you so much for watching. I hope you guys have a magical day and I hope you're living your best magical life.